Ever felt the chill down your spine when you're all alone in the dark? What if I told you that in the shadows, beyond the veil of our reality, there exist entities from the other side? Welcome to a journey that'll send shivers racing down your spine. Today, we're diving deep into the supernatural, uncovering the bone-chilling tales of the top ghost sightings that will make you question what lies beyond the realm of the living. Before witnessing the eerie paranormal presences, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. Number 1. Hoya Beishu Forest, Romania Step into the chilling depths of the Hoya Beishu Forest in Romania, a place that has spooked the bravest souls since 1968. It all started with a snapshot of a mysterious UFO hanging ominously over the trees. Now, folks worldwide whisper about Hoya Beishu being a gateway to a realm where visitors vanish without a trace. If you manage to escape the clutches of the forest, you might find yourself haunted by rashes, nausea, and a constant feeling of unease. They even call it the Bermuda Triangle of Transylvania, and the twisted trees in this haunted woodland only amplify the ghostly vibes. Number 2. Valley of the Kings, Egypt Journey along the Nile River to the Valley of the Kings in Egypt, a place dripping with ancient mysteries and a touch of the supernatural. This burial ground for pharaohs, dating back to the 16th century peak, gained fame after the discovery of Tutankhamun's tomb in 1922. But here's the kicker. Lord Carnarvon, the English aristocrat who funded Tut's excavation, met a grim end from infection shortly after the discovery. Whispers of a pharaoh's curse echoed, inspiring tales and mummy sequels for a century. Today, visitors claim to catch glimpses of an Egyptian pharaoh riding a chariot, pulled by phantom black horses, adding a spine-tingling layer to this archaeological wonder. Number 3. Chuk Lagoon, Micronesia Dive deep into the waters off Micronesia's Chuk Lagoon, a submerged graveyard that will send shivers down your spine. Once a stronghold for the Japanese Navy during Mui, it became a battleground in 1944, with American forces launching a relentless three-day airstrike. The result? A sunken ghost fleet of truck lagoon. Warships, planes, tanks, and railroad cars resting on the ocean floor. Brave souls equipped with scuba gear flock here, as Patty hails it, one of the best wrecked diving destinations on the planet. Yet, amid the relics of war, some claim to spot eerie specters, waterlogged ghosts lingering among weapons and gas masks. It's a bone-chilling underwater adventure where history meets the supernatural. Number 4. Street George's Church, Czech Republic Let's take a spooky trip to Street George's Church in the Czech Republic. This place, dating back to 1352, has a history so twisted it'll send shivers down your spine. Fires tried to devour it over the centuries, and in 1968, during a funeral, the roof decided to play its own horror show by collapsing. The locals swore it was haunted after that. And guess what? They stopped going in. Cue the robbers and vandals turning it into a ghostly wreckage. Fast forward to 2012, an art student from the University of West Bohemia had a genius plan to revive the eeriness. Picture this. 30 ghost sculptures chilling in the pews, heads bowed like they've got their own haunted secrets. Now, the ghost church welcomes thrill-seekers every Saturday afternoon. They pose with the spectral statues and maybe even try to have a chat with these frozen phantoms. Creepy, right? Number 5. The Stanley Hotel, Colorado Now let's check out the Stanley Hotel in Colorado the Og haunted spot since 1909. This place inspired Stephen King to create the Shining's Overlook Hotel. And that's just the beginning. Ghost sightings. Oh, they've got plenty. Mysterious piano music. You betcha. The Stanley Hotel dives deep into its eerie fame with nightly ghost tours and psychic powwows courtesy of the in-house Madame Vera. Fancy a chat with the spirits while sipping whiskey at the world-renowned bar. This place has it all. Number 6. Eastern State Penitentiary, Philadelphia Hold on tight 
as we explore Eastern State Penitentiary in Philadelphia, a castle of horrors built in 1829. Imagine this, prisoners living, exercising, and chowing down all alone. And when they stepped out, a hood over their heads so they couldn't see or be seen. Talk about solitary confinement on steroids. The place had to ditch the solo act in 1913 due to overcrowding, but the punishment game stayed strong, like chaining an inmate's tongue to his wrists. Ouch. Closed in 1970, the penitentiary now hosts thrill-seekers year-round for its museum and Halloween bashes. Brace yourself for disembodied laughter, shadowy figures, and footsteps that'll make your heart race. Number 7. Isla de las Municas, Mexico. Dive into the spine-tingling story of the Island of the Dolls in the heart of Cacimilco, Mexico. While it may hold the prestigious title of a UNESCO World Heritage Site, this neighborhood harbors a secret that will make your skin crawl. Picture this. A chinampa, once the home of Julian Santa Barrera, now transformed into a nightmare. Barrera, after stumbling upon the lifeless form of a girl in a nearby canal, decided to collect dolls, hundreds of them, to create a haunting defense against malevolent spirits. The island, adorned with doll parts hanging from trees like a horror movie set, invites the brave to embark on a boat journey to witness the eerie spectacle from the safety of the water. Number 8. Street Augustine Lighthouse, Florida. Join the ranks of over 216,000 annual visitors to the Street Augustine Lighthouse, where history meets the supernatural in a hair-raising blend. This iconic beacon, marked by tragedy, hosts more than just tourists. Picture the ghostly silhouette of a lighthouse keeper, forever haunting the grounds after a fatal fall while painting the towering structure. But that's not all. Immerse yourself in the unsettling tale of three young girls, their laughter echoing in the wind. They met a watery grave when their play cart disintegrated, plunging them into the ocean depths. Brace yourself for the ghostly giggles and playful whispers that visitors claim still resonate in and around the lighthouse, turning a sunny Florida day into a ghostly thriller. Number 9. Poveglia Island, Venice. Picture this. Poveglia Island, just a stone's throw away from the picturesque canals of Venice. It's not your regular island stroll, though. Back in the day, it was a quarantine spot for bubonic plague victims, a storage space for Napoleon's deadly arsenal, and even housed a crazy 20th century insane asylum. The asylum, my friends, was a real nightmare factory, hosting unspeakable medical horrors. The Travel Channel spills the beans on creepy experiments that went down there. The place finally shut its doors for good when a doctor dramatically took a leap off the asylum's bell tower. Spooky locals swear they still hear chilling echoes, even though that bell was yanked out ages ago. Now it's off-limits to visitors, but you can catch a glimpse of the island and its crumbling loony bin from the safety of Lido's beaches. Number 10. Chateau de Brissac, France. Let's jet off to France, where the seven-story Chateau de Brissac stands tall and ominous. It's not just a regular castle, it's got a ghost story that'll give you the heebie-jeebies. Meet the Green Lady, aka Charlotte of France. The Chateau's website spills the tea on Charlotte, the king's secret daughter, who met a grisly end at the hands of her hubby when he caught her in a steamy affair. The Green Lady, named for the color of her dress when she met her untimely demise, isn't resting in peace. Nope, she's out and about, haunting the chapel's tower room, letting out spine-chilling moans in the wee hours of the morning. Number 11. Myrtle's Plantation, Louisiana. Ow, let's jump across the pond to Louisiana, where the Myrtle's Plantation has earned its stripes as one of America's spookiest spots. Built in 1796 by General David Bradford, this place is like a paranormal hotspot. Whispers say it's plopped right on an ancient Indian burial ground, and no less than a dozen spirits call it home. Brace yourselves for some ghostly drama, like the tale of Chloe, a former slave with a taste for eavesdropping. Things took a gruesome turn when her ear got the chop for her nosy habits, but Chloe wasn't about to let that slide. 
Oh no. She whipped up a birthday cake, laced it with poison, and sent two of the plantation owner's daughters straight to the afterlife. The other slaves weren't too keen on her kitchen revenge, so they gave Chloe a taste of her own medicine, a hanging. Now they say Chloe's spirit roams the plantation, rocking a turban to hide her earless head. Spooky, right? Before you go turning off the lights tonight, remember, the line between the living and the dead might be thinner than you imagine. Until next time, keep your eyes wide open and hit the subscribe button for more eerie content.